Hi there, this is my Haddad here again. So now I have my router, the Juniper SRX100 router is powered on. Now I need to connect to the console to be able to reset it to factory. Again, if you don't know how to use the console cable, then you can use a pen or a clip or anything just to press on this uh, button, which is the reset configuration, which we call it a hard reset, and then the router will be resetted. But I just want to show you how you can also connect to the console and how you can do it using the command line. So here in my hand here, I have a console cable. All right, so this is a Cisco console cable actually, but it also works on Juniper. So uh, you can see we have on this side, it's an RG45, and the other side, it's a serial interface. All right, so what I need now to do this, I will plug it inside the console port of the Juniper router. And this one, it has to be plugged on my computer. My computer, I don't have a serial interface, which is DB9 actually. So I don't have that. So what I'm going to use, I'm using a converter. So that means a cable where it is from one side, it's a DB9. It is female DB9, actually, or it's male, I'm not sure. And then from the other side is the USB, because I do have USB ports on my computer. All right, so let me just put that directly now. So I'm now putting that, the cable. So it is uh, on uh, the, uh, I put it uh, on uh, the uh, converter, and then uh, I just put it here on the console port of the router. So it is on the console port of the router. Very good. So now what I need to do is how can I connect to it? So you have different ways. So you can use Putty. You can see Putty is over here. It's possible. So you can just uh, go to Putty and say serial. And then you say here, which com? That's the problem because you may not really know what is the com. I know because I have to connect to it before. But then you have to try com1, com2, com3 until it opens. So that's possible. The other way, which is the best way to do, is to go to a software which is called Terra Term. So let me just open this software for you. So we go to here. So this is Terra Term. So uh, it is free of charge software. You can download it from the internet. You don't have to pay for it. And then when you go to Terra Term, when you say serial, it will show you directly the COM that you are connected to. You see COM3. So that may takes a lot of hassles. In case you don't know what is the port, then you can just go to it. So if I click here, OK. And now we should have, you see, we are on SRX1. All right. So as I know already, what is the, uh, the uh, COM3, for example, uh, on Terra Term? We can close the console and let me try on putty. So we go to serial and it should be here com3. Let's try to see if it works. The speed should be 9600 and open. And yeah, you see it's also open now on putty. If you want another software as well, so something like a secure CRT, that's a nice software. So you can see I have already here serial COM3. And if you want, you can just, uh, for example, uh, make a here connect and then enter. And here we go. You see, you, we are inside this one. Very good. So now I already know what is the username and the password because when I bought the router, they told me what is the username and the password. So it is root and the password is juniper123. All right, so we go now to the root level. Now, how to reset the router to the default uh, factory? So now, I'm not going really to explain to you exactly the uh, everything about the command line because that's really a course by itself. There is a course called Genos uh, G N CIA, which is uh, for associate level, which is a very important course, by the way, and it allows you to be able to become a GNCIA uh, certified because there is an exam behind that. So there they speak about everything on the command line. But this course, we are going to work on the uh, JWeb, which is uh, the graphical user interface. But just to show you how you can reset the configuration from the console. First, we have to go to the CLI. So we are on the shell level. Now, when we say CLI, we go to the operational level. Then I have to say edit. Edit takes me to the configure level. All right. So here I have to say load factory default. So I'm saying to the router, load the factory default. And then 
because there is already configuration. So if we do here run show configure before I do that, so you can see there is already configuration on this router. All this configuration is inside this router at this moment. All right, so you see, we don't want really to uh, use the configuration which was provided by the uh, old uh, um, person who was using this router. Now, in case you are getting a router which is new, you don't need to pass through this. You can just directly connect to the router. So, because the router is having already the uh, default factory configuration. But in case you are having a used router, because I bought a used one, it's very cheap. I paid something like uh, 25 euro and then also uh, I paid uh, for the uh, shipment uh, cost. So all in all, something like 32 euro, I had this router, so which is a very good solution for me because it doesn't cost a lot of money. But it has configuration, I need to reset it. So let's do that. Load factory default, enter. So it's say activating factory configuration, very good. So now this is activating, but we have to save it. All right, we have to save the load uh, configuration, uh, the factory default configuration. So if we say now commit to save this configuration, look, you have an error. So what does it mean here? It's saying that if you want to commit what you have made as a change, you should have a password for the root. The root is the administrator account or administrator user on this router. Because we have reset the configuration, so also the password has gone. So we need to create a password. So how to do that? We have to say here, set system root authentication, and we can use the plain text if you want. Plain text password, and let's use this password, juniper123, juniper123, and then now if I say commit, so I'm saving the configuration, which is the uh, no configuration actually, because we have loaded the factory action. Yeah, there is configuration on the uh, on the factory default, and uh, this one will be loaded to the router. But now when we say commit, then the router has been reset to the factory default, and uh, then in this case, if I connect to it, then uh, we can go step by step using the J web. All right, so let's uh, wait until the commit is done. And then after that, we have to start working on the JWeb. So now the commit is uh, done, very good. So now what is important for us to remember is that uh, on uh, the uh, interfaces, uh, uh, there is uh, an IP. So if we go now to, for example, let's do run show configure. Why I'm using run? Because if I want to say show configuration from here, it doesn't take it from this level. So we have to go exit and over here we can write it. But when I say run, then it can take this configuration. So if we look here, we see that this is the root authentication. This is the password that I have made it. Very good. Now, what is important to see is this level over here, the web management. Web management means to connect web to the uh, Juniper router. So how can I connect web to the Juniper router? It's shown here on web management, we can connect via HTTP. So that's possible. And it's possible via HTTPS. And there is, because we're using HTTPS, there is a certificate, which is uh, a self-certificate generation. So because it's a, a secure HTTP, then it needs a certificate and this router will issue the certificate. So that means what? I can connect to the HTTP and I can connect to the HTTPS to the router to go to JWeb. All right, so we're going to use uh, uh, maybe HTTPS is better because it's more secure. And we see on the uh, default configuration that is provided from uh, the Juniper router, you can see that the router IP is 192.168.1.1. So when we connect to the router, we have to go to this IP and we have to be sure that our computer receive an IP from this one because you see there is a dash TP, so it has to give an IP to our computer to 192.168.1.2 until 192.168.1.254. All right, so this is uh, gonna be propagated uh, on the fast internet 0 over 0 over 0 dot 0. So, so far so good we can connect to the router and then we have to put this IP. So these are the, the settings that uh, uh, Juniper provide us, the uh, default settings. We should not really care too much about it for now. Now, this is what I wanted to show you for uh, this lab, only that we have uh, resetted the configuration. In case you don't want to use the console, use a clip 
press on the button which is uh, reset the config on the Juniper router, leave it for 15 seconds, and then this will happen automatically. So this is what I wanted to show you for this lecture. I hope it was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.